Back to talk of the town. As you're switching out your summer clothes for fall ones, it's the perfect time to reorganize your closet. We've got some expert advice today to end the closet chaos and get everything in order. Whitney Hall's here from On Point Organizing. Thanks for being here. Oh, thanks for having me. So you say if, it, if we're going to reorganize our closets, first thing to do is take everything out. Absolutely. Everything. Take everything out. And after that step, then you're going to group everything. So whether it's your pants, jeans, skirts, dresses, tops, shoes, accessories, everything, take it out and group it. Okay. So pile it up on the bed. Yes. Right. Right. And then go through those piles. Yes. And see if there's any possible way to reduce those piles. Okay. Um, whether you're donating something or just getting rid of it because it doesn't fit anymore, see if you can reduce that down. Okay. Then you're going to go back into the closet and see if you can assign each group a home. Okay. Good. And you've shown a beautiful way to do that over here. You organize things by color. Absolutely. That makes it, it is, so easy to find stuff. It is the go-to strategy because it's so easy to find your items, first of all. Mm -hmm. And then second of all, it's low maintenance as far as keeping everything in order and having a nice look to your mm -hmm. closet. That's really great. As you can see here, we've used all the same hangers. Mm -hmm. And I'm completely for that because I think the more uniform and consistent it looks, the more apt the client's going to be to keep things the way that it sure. should look. Now, these are your very favorite hangers right here. They are. These are the huggable hangers. You can get them at the container store or Target. Um, they're thin, so they're going to maximize space, but they're also lined in felt, so it's going to keep your items securely on there. So things won't slip off and Absolutely. end up on the floor. Exactly. Perfect. All right, this is how you organize shoes. I think this is a great idea if you have the space. Right. If the space allows for it, I love clear shoe boxes because you can see what's going on inside there, but the great thing about these are the lids. So you can get different colors to coordinate with your different categories of shoes. Okay. For instance, sneakers could be in blue and then pink could be your high heels, whatever. It's mm -hmm. a great way to be able to um, locate everything that you've got. So you just pop them in there. And they obviously fit perfectly. That's nice. Super easy. All right, you like these little bins too if you have the space in your closet. I do. I think they're low maintenance and they definitely keep the closet looking on point. Um, they're great for undergarments, socks, obviously rolling your workout clothes because most of those items are going to shake free of wrinkle once mm -hmm. you put them on. Sure. Um, and That's a great idea instead of having them stacked in a drawer because you can see exactly what shirt you're going for. Definitely easy access to pop them in and out. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. nice. What else do you keep in bins? Um, for a lot of people, you can get the larger bins and you can put jeans and leggings and it's great to pop them in and out. The only downfall is obviously putting them back in the rolls, but it's it's great in the long term. Well, spend a little time when you do the laundry, get right. it all rolled up, right. and then you've, you can find stuff easily in the morning. Exactly. That's great. Down front, you have a cute hamper. I like that idea. Yes, and I love a cute hamper because it adds a little pop of personality to your space, and I definitely think you need one in your closet, okay. just so that when you take your clothes off, they don't end up on the floor. Mm -hmm. um, if the space allows, again, I recommend getting three uh, slender hampers. That way you can um, separate out your darks, your lights, and then your towels. So when it comes time oh, to do yeah. the laundry, you're good to go. So smart. Getting it all organized just makes getting dressed so much easier in the morning, doesn't it? Absolutely, and it makes you love your wardrobe a lot more as well. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I always forget I have stuff, so that's good to know. <laughs> all right, any other organizing tips that you want to share? Well, definitely keeping the things that you use the most at an eye level. So um, if you have black pants that you're wearing on a daily basis, keep them in a center mm -hmm. spot where it's easily accessible. Or, you know, if you're a jeans person, make sure that they're at an eye level shelf. That makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. All right, Whitney, some terrific ideas. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate Appreciate it. If you need some help, you can find Whitney online at onpoint-organizing.com.